Well, hi folks. Just want to do a quick video on looking at diagnostic information. If you have Lowrance products hooked up to your NMEA 2000 or N2K network on your boat. This is critical because if there's a problem, like you're missing a terminator, terminator's bad, you have an issue on the bus, those errors will increment and you need to figure out what's going on. So this raises awareness to if you're having errors on the, on the bus. So let me show you exactly how this works. So here we have, here we have a Lowrance uh, HDS display or on the main page. So if we go under settings, which is this here, go down to network, and then you'll see diagnostics. Click on that and you'll see NMEA 2000. And here we can see what our current bus load is, RXTX messages, and whether or not we have any errors. So if we start getting errors, we know that we have a backbone problem, typically, typically. I mean, there could be a device hanging off one of your T's that's a problem. But generally speaking, if you start seeing the errors clock up, generally it's a terminator problem. So you want to check both ends, because remember, you're going to have a terminator on both ends. Make sure that they are connected and make sure that your bus isn't broken or split in half, which can happen. Sometimes if people don't take their T's and mount them properly and you start getting pressure on them, they can break. And so that's why there's those little screw mounts on them so that you can uh, stabilize it and, and give it enough support. So at any rate, if you have a Lowrance display on your network, this is a quick way to see if you're having any errors. Zero errors, perfect. That's what we want to see. All right, hopefully that's helpful. Take care now.